Hello, my name is Rick Bonelli. I'm the owner of Rancho Fuel Plumbing and Heating. It's a third generation company. My father started in 1960. I joined the company in 1972. And my son now has recently joined the company as well. Okay, we have vehicles that range from plumbing to service vehicles and oil trucks. Okay, one of our biggest challenges that we ever had was managing inventory, keeping trucks neat and clean. We've always used metal shelves and we've always had situations where the floor would always be filled with, with materials and buckets and it was very unusual. I never had a real solution until Hing Lai, also a licensed plumber, joined the company five years ago and has introduced me into a new concept of the way he operated his vehicles and how he built his trucks. It's a very amazing way to, to utilize every bit of real estate within a truck maintaining a very good workable area, keeping your inventory levels under control. Men don't call saying, I don't have this part, I don't have that part, as well as parts being damaged and lost inside a mess of parts inside a truck. Okay, so I'd like to uh, have him tell you a little bit about what his concept was and how he came up with this idea. Well, um, Rick, don't forget uh, we had the... Uh, oh, yes. Trump, Trump this is the fourth vehicle that Hing has built for us. He has done three plumbing trucks and now he's done a service truck and it was featured in PM Magazine this past year, Truck of the Month. Here it is right here. It's a plumbing truck, it's a Sprinter. And if you want to see it, just go on PM Magazine, Truck of the Month for Rancho and you'll see an amazing video about that truck as well. Okay, well the, the problem we had was that um, we did an extremely uh, fantastic job with our plumbing vehicles and things like that, but with the service, they carried a lot of parts and with the traditional use of metal shelves, it was just a disaster. It didn't conform to the truck. There was a lot of wasted space and you were stuck with it. So most of our service guys used to put stuff on the floor and basically this truck, before I even worked on it, looked like this. I don't know if you can get a close up of this. Okay. So that was my initial challenge and uh, thanks with the blessing of Rick and Richie and uh, the owners of Ranshaw, I tried it with this one. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at this. This is a concept vehicle and it's a blueprint for all our future service vehicles from now on, okay? It is an experiment, but I think it worked very well. The original metal shelvings uh, stuck out like about 14 inches. What I decided to do was add an additional four inches to give it more stability and give more shelf space, okay? So you can see, <clears throat> most important thing, you have a clear walkway. The space between the cabinet to cabinet is 36. More than adequate for the largest servicemen that we have, okay? so. So first thing we have is we have expansion tanks. We have, we have the number 15 and number 30. Hang in a very secure spot, out of the way, will not get, ever get damaged. We have a soot vac tucked away, extension cords. Now, this is a service vehicle for nighttime use, therefore we have to carry 40 gallons of fuel. We have three cans over here, we have five cans in the front. So let me step inside the vehicle and tell you about the highlights. The first thing you'll notice is that this truck is extremely bright. LED lighting, you never have to search for anything in the middle of the night. Everything is well lit. It's, it will be impossible for you not to find anything on this truck. All right, so <clears throat> coming on inside here, the first thing we have is a rug for the service guys to kneel on. Better for the knees, okay? We have 12 motors, all various sorts, tucked away inside this wheel well, okay? Now each one of these cabinets, all cabinet grade plywood, we have complete, uh, everything is <clears throat> sorted out. We have complete fuel oil filter assemblies here, okay? Then we have Carlin Suntec, Riola Beckett, hydronic parts, all inside over here. Every single Honeywell control is in here, okay? We have half inch and three quarter nipple caddies. We have a special spot for tools. We have all Safeguard and McDonald Miller low water cutters, all in one particular location, so you don't have to be searching for anything. We do testing. We, um, we have a testo kit that's in here that someone took, okay? We have all of our transformers all neatly tucked away over here. At the same time, we have regular bins that you could pull out. And all the slots have been specifically designed that when you in the, with, when the vehicle's in transit, it will not slide forward, okay? On the top, we have more storage space up on the top for nozzle assemblies, parts, everything is larger, bulky items over here fuel oil waste can okay so let's talk about let's go on the other side of it and show what the truck is on the other side so let's not, let's not forget to mention that this vehicle is utilized to service oil burners gas burners both residential and commercial so we're able to 
put all of those parts that are necessary to do those services. Okay, now, take this side of it. The largest challenge you always had was that the servicemen always had to jump inside the vehicle at all times to get every item. So what we did, we, we did a slight modification on a lot of these things over here, okay? One thing I'll show you over here is this pull-out tray, okay? The most commonly used items that a serviceman will ever need, short of having to jump inside, would be inside here. Okay? So you pull it out, you have the first tray, and you have the second tray. Most commonly used items in here. So rather than jump inside the truck, it's over here. Now the issue is that night service, when it gets really dark, he can't see, flips on a light switch, it lights up this whole area over here. Okay? We have five cans, all brand new, uh, securely fastened to the wall. We have extra five gallon buckets, cloth rags, degreasers, chemicals, and things like that. Wrenches, hoses, wire. Okay? We have sawzall. Uh, we have speedy dry. We have mortar mix. Okay? We have all the filters here, but what the guys really, truly love is that now they were able to organize all the nozzles. So we, it was a hybrid of wood and pre-made cabinets. So we decided to put new cabinets in. Check this out over here. You got this is zoomed in. Kind of stuff. Flare fittings, nice and organized. Copper fittings, okay. You got to do occasional water heater. Right here. Electrical items, fittings and everything like that. These two over here have not been figured out what we're going to use yet, but what the guys love the most is the nozzle, what I did with the nozzles. Check this out. Half inch and a half plywood that was drilled. Every single hole, every single one has 88 holes and they have all different types of nozzles at a glance. That's all open over here. Okay, we have all the filters they could possibly ever use up over here and it all fits inside the spot. We have uh, eight inch smoke pipe right up on top, eight inch, seven inch, six inch, five inch, four inch, and three inch. Same thing over, all tucked away over here. Speedy dry, uh, smooth coat. Uh, most important, garbage pail, okay? And on this side we have a pony pump, scrap copper pipe, EMT and everything like that, Teflon tape, and latex gloves, okay? Now, if we come outside, we're gonna look quickly inside that. We even did not stop inside over here. We actually, okay, fix up the front. We used to carry a lot of paperwork, but now we streamlined everything, and now we have like a, a you know organizer with folders and everything, like our magnets, our booklets, and things like, and all of our stickers, and most importantly, the mango bucket. So me and Rick have been very very excited, and this is probably going to serve as our blueprint of all of our future service vehicles, and I think we're very very excited on this. I want to thank everybody for viewing this, and I want to thank uh, Hing for his envision of improving the working place at Rancho. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.